Well, good morning. It's Saturday morning. Today we're reading Luke 7, 31 through 35, the third piece about John the Baptist. And Jesus says, To what then shall I compare the people of this generation, and what are they like? They are like children sitting in the marketplace and calling to one another. We played the flute for you, and you did not dance. We sang a dirge, and you did not weep. For John the Baptist has come eating no bread and drinking no wine, and you say, He has a demon. The Son of Man has come eating and drinking, and you say, Look at him, a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of the tax collectors and sinners. Yet wisdom is justified by all her children. So in essence, Jesus is saying here, make up your minds. You know, what's, what do you want? Children in the marketplace crying, you know, we played the flute for you. We, we made happy music and you didn't dance. We did sad music and you didn't weep. So, you know, what are we supposed to do? John the Baptist came eating no bread and drinking no wine, you know, weird diet. And they said, oh, he's got a demon. He's weird. Son of man comes, so Jesus comes and eats and drinks. And they say, look at him. He's a glutton and a drunkard. Well, which way do you want it? you got to make up your mind. What, Which way will you have it to be? They don't know. He's a friend of tax collectors and sinners terrible he's terrible he won't he won't separate himself from those bad people the church has always had this problem you know we we want to be like jesus at the same time we want to separate ourselves from evil people bad people those who break the law those who break god's law those who aren't like us. So you got some churches where people show up uh, uh, kind of in, um, well, in suits and ties and, you know, uh, fancy cars and everything. And you got churches where people are dressed much more modestly. Um, they're just there uh, in their everyday sort of clothes. And um, churches where everybody works in, let's say, a factory, um, and churches where everybody works, you know, downtown in the big buildings. And, and so we sort of self-segregate into these groups. And sometimes we look at people in another group and say, oh, well, you know, we don't want to worship with those people. You know, we don't want to... So, so, so the people in another group become... Kind of associated with the bad people. They're, the, you know, they're the, really the bad people. They're not like us. When we do that, you know, that's what's wrong. That's where we're, we're actually, uh, well, frankly, committing a sin um, because we won't uh, associate with certain people based on appearances and um, things like. Uh, education and income and uh, you know social status and all of that and um, it's all bad it's all wrong now what if you are caught in that web of, of status um, and can't escape you know what I'm saying you I mean you're 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 the community you live in and the church that you go to is all a certain sort of people, and um, they kind of look askance at other groups of people. And well, what are you supposed to do? Change churches? Move? You know, I mean, how do you get out of this? It's very difficult. It's very difficult. Um, what I think you have to do is uh, is slowly convert some of the people around you. Now, this is hard, but this is good. Slowly convince the people uh, around you to become um, to become different. Uh, now, I pastor a, a church which has a great big building, 
Um, it was built over the course of well about a hundred years, and um, the the last half of it that was built is beautiful and huge, and um, and it's a typical Presbyterian group of people, and we could be as stuffy as we you know could be, or we could sort of open ourselves up to the community. And we've done that over the years. We had people sleeping in the building when it was cold. Right now we have people coming in once a week and get a shower if they want to. We have limited shower facilities, but we do have some showers. So people come in and get a shower. And, um, and we don't care what they look like or how they act, as long as they're not high or... Um, brandishing weapons they're welcome to come in and and uh, and get a shower so you see you you just sort of slowly find some people who who agree with you and figure out a way to use your facility to to bring uh, those folks in if you will and and find ways to to help them and to um uh, to help to help you to help your group see that they're no different from these other people, um, it's a long road, and we're not there, of course. But uh, you you all um, we all need to think about this and work on this. Um, it's a it's a tough struggle, and it was a struggle uh, for the folks who were around Jesus and John the Baptist too. So if there if there's any comfort, at least take comfort in that. Well, have a great Saturday and Sunday. We will see you Monday morning.